Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching There Will Be Blood. What do you know about this movie? This is Daniel Day-Lewis. Highly recommended after we watched Gangs of New York and were pretty obsessed with his performance in that one. Yeah, Gangs of New York was excellent, specifically Daniel Day-Lewis. And almost every comment was, well, you gotta watch this or also Last of the Mohicans. We'll watch that at some point too. But for now, we're watching There Will Be Blood. Uh, I don't really know anything about this movie, but I believe he won an Oscar for this, I think. I never heard of this movie prior to it being recommended to us, even though this is a newer film for us watching on the channel. Yeah. So I have no idea what this is about. Oh, so I'm excited to get into it. Yeah, after like kind of the tone of Gangs of New York, if that's like the type of actor he is, I'm assuming this is gonna be kind of dark. Probably, um, yeah. And it's called There Will Be Blood. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's another giveaway of it being maybe dark. But yeah, I'm really excited to watch this. I'm officially a Daniel Day-Lewis fan. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Wouldn't think of bringing a shotgun down there. Yeah. I wonder what he's mining for. Okay. Hopefully that's a long enough fuse to uh, <laughs> climb up that ladder and get the hell out of here. Not Ooh. a lot of urgency. Oh my God, there's so much faith in that holding while you climb out. Oh. Shit, he doesn't have the strength. It's like slight ring. Oh! Oh, he fell far. Just like knocked the wind out of himself. I assume he's just totally alone in this area. Legs broken. I think so. Is that cold? Don't know. I was assuming maybe diamonds? Oh wow. Jeez, he had the strength to get out of that, but not pick up his tools. His tools are probably heavier than he is. <laughs> or when your life depends on it. Everything just seems so sinister and scary when you have that constant... Hey, Daniel! Ooh, four years? Shit, where were we? No, it was... I thought we were in 80... 1892? Yeah. So 10 years. It's music. And no one said a word so far in the entire movie. Okay, so he's uh, quite an innovator. Like engineering a pulley? I'm sure after... 10 years digging down there, you gotta wanna think of a better way to dig. Oh no! Good thing there was no one down there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, was that intentional? Maybe. So this that's isn't- That's oil, right? That's oil, this is a drill. That's a lot of oil. Trying to get this thing loose. It's interesting. Yeah. I have no idea about any of this process. So I don't even know where you start other than just digging. That's interesting. So it doesn't just get absorbed back into the... I mean, I guess not, or it wouldn't be puddled here like this. Ugh, they need a better way of getting this stuff out. Oh my god. That other guy did not look okay. No, he got smushed. Oh, oh. shit. That well is now flowing at 2,000 barrels, paying me an income of $5,000 a week. That's Whoa. a ton of money. I run a family business. This is my son and my partner, H.W. Plainview. Oh, wow. 
So we had another time jump. When it comes to the showdown, they won't be there. Jeez, a lot of hostility. I can blame you. No, where are you going? I don't need the leash, thank no. you. Yeah. I wouldn't take the leash if you gave it to me as a gift. <laughs> but I'm prepared to give you a thousand dollar bonus on your lot. As a guarantee to start drilling within ten days. That's something you won't find anywhere else. He's taking her six or he's giving him a six? I think he's probably giving him a six. But they don't need to do anything other than just sign away. Where is your wife? She died in childbirth. That's just me and my son now. I mean, maybe his mom did die in childbirth? Maybe. But his dad got crushed by a beam. Ooh! Well, that was successful. So forget that other lease with all those people screaming and yelling. Just go up a little bit further and get your own. And I wonder if that affects it down south. Like if it's flowing that way. I would assume so. Yes. We got Paul Dano, the Riddler. Had oil where land could be bought cheaply. You should let me know what you know, and, uh, and then we'll try and work something out. Sure. Can I sit down? Please. I mean, he doesn't seem like a scammy guy. Daniel Day-Lewis? Yeah. Or Daniel? Where are you from? That's what I want to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> we have oil, and it seeps through the ground. Doesn't mean there's anything beneath it. Why did Standard Oil buy up land? How much land they buy? I'd like it better if you didn't think I was stupid. <laughs> Great conversation. Six hundred dollars. Oh, its price just went up? Just tell me one thing to help me decide. What else have you got up there? What do you grow? Trying to figure out where it is? Here's five hundred dollars. Tell me something worth hearing. This money's yours. The Sunday Ranch is what you're looking for. Nothing grows but weeds. Is of all the oil? You drill a well, it's hard not to get salt water. The oil is there. Check it out. I want to go now, so... Oh, you can stay tonight. No, uh, I want to go now. <laughs> I find that you've been lying to me. I'm going to find you, and I'm going to take more than my money back. Is that all right with you? <laughs> is that Confident. all right with you? I'm going to hurt you if you're lying. <laughs> is that okay? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't see why he would lie. He just gave him his address. <laughs> yeah, and now his name. Paul Sunday and Daniel Plainview. I mean, at least he didn't just, like, throw away this kid or give it to someone else or something like that. It feels responsible. Yeah. I wonder if he told his family, Paul. Yeah. That's interesting that the family wouldn't even know about the oil, potentially. We have goat's milk if you'd like. Uh, that'd be fine. Very nice family. We don't have any bread. No, 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 no. Corn just doesn't fill out in the hills here. It's mostly rock. It was so generous. My name is Eli. Where the fuck's Paul? Welcome. What? Wasn't his name Paul? Are they, they twins? twins? They're hunting quail. That's right. We will bring dinner. Is he or just... is he crazy? Yeah, is he fucking with them or does he have a twin? Oh. Ooh, stepped in some oil. Dad, look at my shoe. Wasn't lying. See how pure it is, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's gotta be some sort of test. That's earthquake oil. Set loose. Earthquake oil. They did say there was just an earthquake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually did get some quails. What we do is we build a pipeline to Port Wainimi. It's about 100 miles. And then we don't need the railroads and our shipping costs anymore. That's a big plan. I'm not just throwing it away on shipping costs. Otherwise, it's just mud. 100 miles, though, feels pretty far. Oh, I'm not going to give them oil prices. I'll give them quail prices. Is he just going to buy the land from them just for quail hunting? That's $3,700. No. The Lord has sent this man here, Eli. Is this Eli or Paul? Now, of course, within that, we're going to develop a lease. Oh. Do you think there's oil here? I know there is. Oh, it's very expensive. Oh. <laughs> what would you give us for it? I don't know. What would you like, Eli? $10,000. That seems fine. For my church. What? No, I'll happily be a supporter of your church for as long as I can. Appreciate your help with this, Eli. <laughs> this is so weird. I still don't know if this is Eli or Paul. And Paul, he was just fucking No, with they're him. the same person. <laughs> I don't know. Where are the hills behind the Sunday Ranch? That's the Bandy Tract. He has over 600 acres. 
He's going to buy everything he can. He's probably going to buy everything to Santa Paula, right? I don't think he can buy 100 miles of land. He's probably just going to buy the drill and then send it to the pipeline. Can everything around here be gone? Sure. <laughs> I'm buying it all. <laughs> Even just with this music, it's intense. Funny to see you. Funny, isn't it? You boys are a little late. <laughs> Good luck, Gene. Like I said, go east. Like I said, get the fuck out of here. I'll be your lawyer if you need to draw up a contract. <laughs> you swindle, boy. Get half what your dad's making. <laughs> How much money can you make? I don't know. One thousand dollars? A minute, probably. <laughs> Mary said that her father beats her if she doesn't pray. Jeez. I just thought you'd like to hear it from me. I'm an oil man. It's oil speech. Now, this work that we do is very much a family enterprise. Family means children. Children means education. And we're just so happy to take care of that. Wow. We're going to dig water wells here. Water wells means irrigation. And irrigation means cultivation. It's this promising. Is huge. It's promising everything food, schools, roads. This community of yours will not only survive, it will flourish. Will the new road lead to the church? Well, that'll be the first place that it leads. This church guy. That was a great speech. I mean, this is a huge investment in this area. I don't think he likes Eli being around too much. You'll see me walk up. The proud son of these hills. And then you could say my name. That's fine. Wow, he went for that? It's just a few words. It won't take long. My thanks for your visit. There's no way. I mean, nothing that he's asked for is, like, crazy. Now, before we spot in Mary's well, number one name for the lovely Miss Mary Sunday here. <laughs> oh, wow. A proud daughter of these hills. I'd just like to say God bless these honest labors of ours, and of course. Oh, he stole his blessing. <laughs> Definitely made an enemy. Oh, this is going to be like an all-out war. This is... Such an improvement to what he was doing originally with four dudes just pulling out buckets. No more hitting, right? Go and play some more. Don't come back. Oh shit, his dad <laughs> was right there. <laughs> <laughs> I did not even know that. It's okay, H.W. Go back to sleep. Come on, go back to sleep. Is drunk on the floor? Daniel. Man, heavy sleeper. Lost a man down the well. Whoa. Why are you smoking down there? Off. <gasps> Holy f God. Where's the body? They're fishing it out now. All right. This is not a great start. Clean him up. Didn't bless the well. No, not really. Shut down till midday. Packing up his stuff. He had one of those little crosses from Eli's church. Thrown in the dirt as I have faced, I will pass you now. Wow. And it left. Quite a performer. Just threw her uh, arthritis right out the door. It's a wonderful sermon. Will I see you tomorrow? Yes. That was interesting. Much different uh, persona in the church than just out in public. Yes, our congregation is growing strongly. One goddamn hell of a show. <laughs> it definitely was. There's so much tension between the two of them. Oh yeah. And if this thing doesn't produce oil, he's screwed. He bought up so much land and invested so much in this area. I don't like these long shots. No, I'm just like waiting for something to explode or fall or... Oh no, HW, oh! Oh! Holy crap! Oh my god. I mean, is he deaf now? Just forever? 
Well, he, they definitely found oil. Open the door. So chaotic. Oh yeah. Tell me where, did you see this? No. Where does it touch? Where does it touch? His ears. Are you hitting the head? Tell me if you were. Oh no. How do you stop that? Oh my God. How do you put out an oil fire? I have no idea. I mean, you gotta stop it from flowing, I feel like. You have to knock it over? Come on, man, hit it. Oh, this is just gonna burn forever. I don't know if it's getting late or if it's just covering the sun. I was thinking that it was like hours later, but. What an incredible shot. Oh, no, it is just getting dark. What are you looking so miserable about? A whole ocean of oil under our feet. No one can get at it except for me. <laughs> this is like the apocalypse for him. This is so impressive. Just burning up your profits, though. Oh, this is a big bomb. Do you have to blow it closed? Make it collapse in on itself? Yeah, I guess that's the only way to stop it. Just blow the fuck out of it. Holy crap, that wasn't that much time. Worked. Puts the fire out and stops it, I guess. And then you just dig it back up again. Can you hear me in there? What the hell? Eddie, that's it. Easy boy. Easy. Soon be over. No, that's it. Why is he so combative? Probably just panicking. I don't know. Like, when was sign language created? Maybe not have fire right there? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I wonder <laughs> why that's necessary to do in there. Like how there's no sound other than just the music. I don't even know what he's saying. No, I didn't get a single word. I think he first asked him if he wanted something to eat, and then I didn't get anything after that. It's gotta be terrible for HW. Get someone down here. I'll do it right away. I mean, obviously he cares about HW. Making some progress. Yeah, they're starting to pump it out. Well, this is Eli. What are you doing, Eli? Looks pissed. When do we get our money, Daniel? <laughs> He's had enough of your shit. That's it, that's it. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna bury you underground, Eli. Uh, I was not expecting that much hostility. Nah, he's been a thorn in his side this entire time. Just like snapped. Oh yeah, especially after what happened to his son. He just doesn't give a fuck about anything anymore. Let someone come in here and walk all over us. I tried. You're lazy and you're stupid. Not very godly of you. Don't, don't do Be it, quiet! Don't be shut your mouth! Just needs to take out his anger on someone else. It was Paul who told him to come here. I know it. I thought you were Paul and Eli. Father to a stupid son. I didn't think Paul was real. What the fuck? I still don't know if there's a twin or if he's just absolutely insane. Is this the teacher, maybe? Oh, right. I'm a Henry. Yes, Henry what who? What can I do for you? I'm a Henry Plainview. Another plain view? Who are you? Henry. Huh. He's got a half brother. They have a similar mustache. <laughs> you heard about your gusher in the paper? You heard about my strike? You just show up? Yeah. I got a letter from Annabelle. My sister Annabelle? Okay. Done my share of things that shouldn't be talked about. That's not good. Milk in a flask. I guess, or I thought he was adding alcohol to milk. He obviously lost his hearing and that sucks, but he seems like just, I don't know, he just feels way different 
I figured he would just be obviously upset about losing his hearing, which is devastating, but it's worse than that. Oh, he's just a kid. I work cable tool rigs, built railroads. I won't need any favors. What are you doing, HW? Didn't you be in bed? This is brothers? Yeah. Why did you leave? I know you didn't get on with that father. Someone bought a gun. Did you get envious? I don't think so, no. I don't trust him. No, especially with that gun. I see the worst in people, Henry. Built up my hatreds over the years, little by little. I can't keep doing this on my own. Wow, that's not the direction I thought this conversation was going. With these, um, people. <laughs> he hates. <laughs> yeah, he hates everyone. <gasps> what the fuck are you doing, HW? Oh my god. There you wake up. There you. What the fuck is wrong with you? Maybe he read something that he wanted to try to kill Henry? What is going on? I, that's what I'm saying. Like, he seems way worse than just a kid who lost his hearing. I'll be right back. You understand? You stay here. Um, what? That was so sad. I don't know where he's sending his son. You have one proven well that was damaged. Uh, three wells proven. You haven't been paying attention. <laughs> we'll make you a millionaire while you're sitting here from one minute to the next. What else would I do with myself? Right? What else would I do with myself? Take care of your son. I don't need to worry about that anymore. <laughs> we don't dictate shit because it's railroad business. You don't own the railroads? <laughs> Build a pipeline, make a deal with Union Oil, be my guest. That's what he wants. We'll make you rich. You spend time with your boy. Stop bringing up the sun. You just tell me how to run my family. One night I'm gonna come to you inside of your house, wherever you're sleeping, and I'm gonna cut your throat. Oh. <laughs> Why are you acting insane and threatening to cut my throat? You don't tell me about my son. If I've offended you, I apologize. I went so poorly. I mean, he hates everyone. Yeah. This is San Luis Obispo County land. Why don't I own this? Why don't I own... <laughs> That's the bandy tract. He had hoped to speak with you. Oh, right. The one guy he said he'll come back to later. I'll talk to him, show you how it's done. All right, back it up, Henry. What's the update for the sun? How big is the room? Got enough space. Are you taking Henry with you to meet Union Oil? Oh, yeah. He was his right-hand man. Henry kind of took that spot. But it's not like he just left his son on the train. Clearly there's problems with his son, so hopefully he sent him somewhere to get some help. Son of William Bandy? Grandson. Tell him I'd like to speak with him. Not about drilling. And I'll be back in a week. He doesn't this want- This music is just freaking me out. Oh yeah. He'll murder this whole family just to be able to build his pipe here. I don't know what that signifies, unless he's already planning his pipe route. Pretty. I know, right? Just put a pipe through it all. All of this land is so pretty. Wow, he's really putting the cart before the horse here. <laughs> There's so much going on though. Like, where's Paul slash Eli? Sent the son away, Paul slash Eli, this dude who doesn't want to sell his land. Other oil companies trying to buy up everything around him. It's hey! got his route. Here's the Union Oil, 100 miles of pipeline, and all the independent go. producers of this great state. Wow, got the deal with Union Oil? He's gotta get that land first. He's gonna get that land. I thought as a boy that was the most beautiful house I'd ever seen. You can have anything you like now, Daniel. Where are you gonna build it? Build a replica of the house he always wanted. I think if I saw that house now, it'd make me sick. <laughs> How small his dreams were. Say, get liquored up and take him to the peach tree dams. Yeah. Why did he not respond the way that he thought he would? Who the fuck are you? Did HW try to kill you for a reason? That's what I'm thinking. I don't think this guy's his brother. 
very suspicious. Oh yeah, especially with this music. This music's been playing the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> That is not a good look on his face. Somebody please. <laughs> no, this is not good. Is that a glove? Oh, goodbye, Henry. Or whoever you are. What's the name of the farm next to the hill house? I can't remember. Who are you? Nope. I'll leave, Daniel. You're not leaving. Not alive, at least. Let me get up and go. Absolutely not. I met a man in King City who said he was your brother. What happened to him? He died of tuberculosis. Used his diary. I'm your friend. No, you're not. I'm not trying to hurt you. Just trying to use you. <laughs> that face. <laughs> I couldn't tell if he shot him right I away. He shot next to him. Yeah. Surprised shooting him in the head took that long to kill him. Wow. HW knew all along. If only he could speak. Is that water or is that oil? What a letdown for him. Thought he had a brother. <laughs> Man, lost his brother, lost his real brother, and his son is gone. Oh. I'm Bandy. Oh, this guy. I had asked for you to come and talk to me before. My boy's been very sick. This was before your boy got sick. No excuse. Just didn't want to talk. You should be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. It's your only way to salvation. And your only way for what you want. So Eli got to him. I'll pay you three thousand dollars. I'd like you to be part of our church. You gonna turn down three thousand dollars? I shouldn't have drilling. Did you dig up the body? Oh. Okay. <laughs> he gets his land and just has to be baptized. Everyone could be saved, but they won't. No, they won't. Reject the blood. Oh, this is torture for him. A sinner here looking for salvation. A new member. Nudge. Right? So I'll ask it again. <laughs> Speak up, Daniel. You have abandoned all because he was sick and you have sinned. I am a sinner. I'm a sinner. Oh, he's gonna get him to say whatever he wants. Oh. I was lost, but now I'm found. I have abandoned my child. Really rubbing that in. I've abandoned my child! Jeez. I've abandoned my boy! Oh, sin! <laughs> It's getting a little bit of a revenge in here. Get there it is! There it is! Oh my god! There's First thing to his mind, pipeline. Oh. What, what did he say? Yeah, what did he just say to him? He looks shook. Oh. I mean, that was easier than $5,000. $5,000. Oh. So he still gave him $5,000. I mean, that was the original deal. Oh, to do this for a hundred miles? They're like a well oiled machine. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> This HW? I think so. It looks like he's signing. Yeah, I think so. This is George Reynolds, teacher from the deaf school. Thank you. Yeah, so he sent him to a deaf school. Oh, well, you're too heavy for me. Let's take a look at you. Oh. That's it. That's it. That's it. Get it out. We're gonna have this teacher help you. He's gonna help take care of all of this. We've got everything we need now to build this company. Come here. You know, it's all this commotion. Oh, this oh, guy. Yeah. H.M. Tilford. You don't have to shout. <laughs> Pleasure. The last conversation, he threatened to slit his throat. <laughs> Oh, 
I am sorry about that, sir. I'll have your stakes right out. This is so uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. I told H.M. Tilford where he could shove that. <laughs> we made a deal with Union. <laughs> oh, no. He just hates people. That's my son. You see him? Yes. Don't tell me how to raise my family. Oh, <laughs> back to this. Yes, I made a deal with Union. My son is happy. Congratulations. I'm taking care of him now, so... Excellent. I mean, you always were, technically. You look like a fool, don't you, Dilford? Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse him, gentlemen. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, he said he has that competitiveness in him where he just doesn't want anyone else to win. None of this means anything to H.W. No. I understand that you're leaving our fire community. Yes, I'm going on a mission. Oh, he's leaving. Probably happy he's gone. I like how she's learning, too. Oh, shit. Do we have a massive time jump? Are they getting married? Whoa. And his teacher is there, right? Is that his yeah. teacher? Is what that a, a house? Yeah. Oh. What a house. He does not look well. No, he doesn't. I mean, he said he hated people, wanted to make enough money to just live away from everyone. So I guess this is exactly what he wanted. I am assuming he wasn't at his son's wedding. I'd prefer to speak to you in private. Can't speak. Oh, come on. Let's start my own company. It's time to make a change. Is he upset that he's not taking over his? This makes you my competitor. Oh. <sighs> no, it's not like that. It is like that. He's in Mexico. I'm going to Mexico with my wife. You're killing my image of you as my son. Jeez. You're not my son. Oh. Please don't say that. He's not lying. You're an orphan. Oh my god. Orphan from a basket in the middle of the desert. You're the angriest person in this room. And for no other reason than I needed a sweet face to buy land. Oh my god, I hope he's not translating this. You're lower than a bastard. I thought the relationship would improve once he got him back from the deaf school. I thank God I have none of you in me. Seriously. Oh. Just a little piece of competition. What is wrong with him? I don't know what happened over these freaking 20. He got everything he wanted, and now he's miserable. I mean, he did not take him to just be some sweet face. He clearly cared for him like a son until he fucked everything up. Mr. Daniel, you've got a visitor. Oh, what? You can leave us now. He hasn't aged a day. <laughs> no. Daniel Plainview, the house is on fire! Definitely a hard sleeper. Stop snoring. I don't think this is someone he wants to see at this moment. I've been working in radio. Radio? Spreading the gospel. Yep. See you well is wonderful. Not very well. Is that water? <laughs> Daniel, my brother by marriage. We're such old friends. By marriage? Well, he married his sister. His son married his sister. Oh, you're right. Mr. Bandy has passed on to the Lord. I don't think Daniel cares. A $100,000 signing bonus. That's only fair. What? There's it's no way. He's not going to give it to him if he doesn't say that. Yeah. I am a false prophet. Oh, he's... Say it like it's your sermon. Why does he need this money so much if he's doing well? I am a false prophet. God is a superstition. Why don't you to make him believe it? God is a superstition. Say it again. Oh no. God is a superstition! Those areas have been drilled. Oh. Those areas have been drilled. Just made him do that for nothing? Every day I drink the blood of lamb from Bandit's track. 
Just drilled all around it and sucked it dry. Wow, got his revenge. I need help. I'm a sinner. What'd you do? Ward sometimes challenges us, doesn't he? <laughs> Our economy and this. Oh shit, are we around the Great Depression? I didn't see what year it was it's when we were in the church. 1927. It was Paul. Told me about you. He's the prophet. <laughs> he has his own company now. Prosperous little business. Three wells producing $5,000 a week. I don't think that's true. No. You're just the afterbirth, Eli. Oh my god. I drink your milkshake. Don't bully me, Daniel. <laughs> Oh! I am the third revolution! <laughs> and chuck bowling balls at him? I'm older! Oh my god! Jeez! Run, Eli! Ooh! Oh! My god! Jeez, he has just deteriorated into just hatred. Mr. Daniel, I'm finished. <laughs> wow. All right, that was There Will Be Blood. What'd you think? That was a wild movie. Yeah, I don't know what to feel about that. The last 30 minutes of this movie were just so shockingly dark. I mean, there was a lot of very messed up stuff before that, but that time jump, he just turned into a devil, practically. I mean, his whole life went down the drain between the time that we didn't see. It just seemed like everything was right. He got his son back. His son was starting to learn sign language. He got his pipeline. He got everything he wanted. And then we did a time jump, and he was this miserable old man who cast out his son, told his son the truth, that he's not even related to him, and then just murdered someone. I feel like maybe his entire life, he's just been chasing success, and he finally got that success, and it wasn't enough, because that's not what he wanted. It was never about becoming successful. It was like the work and the drive that it took to get there. Yeah, it's like he was about the journey, not the destination. Yeah, and the, and the competition. And so he finally got everything that he wanted and he was alone. And he said that's what he wanted all along, but obviously it wasn't. And he wanted HW with him yeah. the entire time. He left him and now he chose to kind of start his own life with his wife and a new company on his own. And that's not what Daniel wanted at all. No, Daniel wanted him, but also I feel like because he had everything and kind of like you said, he enjoyed the process or he was about the process, not the, the end goal. He just created difficulties for him. Mm -hmm. He created a competitor in his son mm -hmm. and then he just killed someone. And it's like, all right, how am I gonna get out of this? The butler's gonna come clean it up or something like that. I don't know. It's just very self-destructive in the final 30 minutes of this movie. Yeah, and I want to say that I liked the film. I feel like I need some time for it to sink in a little bit. The whole reason that we watched this film was for Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah. And extraordinary performance. It was so good. I mean, I really yeah. enjoyed the film. It just went into a direction I wasn't expecting. I don't know, maybe I was just hopeful and wanted like a happy ending. I don't know why I thought that, because it's not necessarily like he was a great guy the entire time. No. But I still just wanted a happy ending, and this was dark. <laughs> yeah, no, this was really dark. And I think the film was much more complicated than I thought it was going to be from the beginning. Once we're seeing like the pipeline and kind of like the competitive nature, I kind of assumed it was going to be very straightforward at that point. Obviously, we had Paul. And then we had his son, like there was little things coming in and out, but I thought that like the general direction of the film was just gonna be what he needed to do to get this pipeline built. Uh huh. And it really didn't end up being about that. No, it was more just like following the life of Daniel. All he had to do to get the pipeline finished was buy some land and get baptized. So mm -hmm. that was relatively easy to accomplish. Um, I mean, he got this location, he got the tip from Paul 
who, so yes, there are twins. <laughs> like, I was so confused the entire time. I didn't know if Eli was just crazy or if there were twins. I don't know. I, I, still I still don't really know. I think that there are two of them. Because Paul came to him and didn't he just give him 500 bucks? And yeah, no, he it? lied about the $10,000. Yeah, he gave him 500 bucks, but then I thought he also asked for like a donation to his church. I thought they had a conversation about the church in that initial, maybe I'm crazy, but that's why I thought that they were the same, they person. Were the same person because they both referenced the church as their church. I'm gonna have to go back and see if I'm just absolutely insane. And maybe they didn't even talk about a church at all. And it was just, Paul just came and said, hey, right here, $500, please. And then he just left on his own. So I assume, yes, there were twins, the way that Daniel was just abusing Eli at the end there, just calling him like after birth and just like a, a waste and that Paul was the chosen one and yeah. he's a false prophet. I mean, horrendous. But yeah, I mean, the movie or like the actions taking place were more straightforward. Incredibly interesting to see the process of scoping out the pipeline and drilling and all and the progression of from just like little buckets of oil to this massive tower. But the complexity in the movie was definitely with Daniel and the relationships of everyone around him. It was very clear and he obviously said it that he does not like people. No. And just watching that, I mean, he essentially just burned through every relationship that he ever had. Yeah, there's not much left. I mean, even his uh, right hand guy or something, he wasn't there at the end. Mm -mm. Obviously the relationship with the son is destroyed. He killed Eli. Yeah, I mean, there's no he one. killed his fake brother. Like that relationship kind of was forming and he was kind of becoming his right hand man. Right. Yeah, and then that went south and shot him. So, I mean, they said there will be blood. There was definitely a lot of blood through this journey for sure. So I don't know, cause Daniel was just filled with hatred. And he, like you said, he was upfront about that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I am like shocked by that final scene. Oh yeah. There were so many moments in this that made me like uncomfortable because of how like blunt Daniel was. Yeah. The way that he like would negotiate things and just his face. Like his face when he was clearly like pissed that he was having to kind of like bite his tongue. Dozens of moments where you're so tense about what the hell is going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, his initial conversation with those oil guys where he talked about slitting their throats. The, they were like, what? Yeah, what? The little stuff um, where he talked about like the peach dance or something like peach tree dance or something. And you could just see the facial expression of Daniel and just be like, oh, that's not a correct answer. And then him in the water, it just, you could see him plotting how he was going to kill him and stuff. Time after time, Daniel day Lewis's performance just shocked you. The uncomfortable nature of it. Even um, when he had the dinner scene with like the steaks and the other people came in again, just him sitting there, you could just freak out about yeah. what the hell is he gonna do? He stands up, walks over to the table. Yeah, when he was like, remember what I said I was gonna do? And he grabbed for the table. I was like, oh my God, is he getting a knife like right just, here? Yeah. <laughs> and he just picks up a shot. I feel like also watching him in the church when he had to be baptized. Oh yeah. Paul was just, or Eli, Eli. <laughs> was just continually making him say that he abandoned his son just over and over again. It got to a real point too, I feel like. Obviously, once he really started screaming, I feel like that was more about him acknowledging his actual sin of abandoning his child versus him just trying to play it up. And I think that's the same parallel that we got at the end. Yeah. With Eli. Yeah, of him actually, I'm just a shithead pretty much. Yeah. And it was interesting the role reversal for him to be in a position where he desperately needed something from Daniel, clearly trashed all his money, um, and he was willing to do anything he could to kind of climb out of it. Mm -hmm. And then he gets killed. <laughs> yeah, that scene was brutal at the end, like when he's chasing him. I don't know, I thought that Daniel was really just messing with him, but I didn't think that he was just gonna kill him. No, I mean, cause he was going pretty far. I thought, the revenge aspect was getting him to admit that stuff mm -hmm. and then still maybe do whatever deal they were talking about. But the fact that that never even existed and he still put him through that and then tried to kill him, or I don't know if he tried to or if it just got to the point where- I think he just lost he it. He just lost it. And then he's just like, whatever, I'm just gonna keep smashing him. 
So I don't know, because throughout a lot of the movie, I don't think he was a good guy, but I don't necessarily feel like he was a bad guy. Like the first death in the well, that was not his fault. That was an accident. Yeah. And then he took the guy's son. Mm -hmm. I do feel like he really loved him and raised him like a kid. Clearly the injury to his ears and then he started acting very strange. He needed some help. How he sent him away was very terrible. Yeah. But he sent him to a school, I'm sure like best school possible to specialize in helping him and then brought that person back to him. And then at some point between that spot and the present, everything just got shattered. But like the deaths that happened, the other person who died in the well, that was, you know, just an unfortunate situation of the job. The killing of the fake brother, that was also a very extreme reaction. But at the same time, this guy is just taking advantage of him and, and being an imposter to his brother. And how do you fully trust that his brother did die? And he uh, didn't kill him. Yeah, maybe he did kill him. I mean, he said he was a criminal who did terrible, unspeakable things. So maybe he did kill his actual brother. So throughout the course of the film, he was crazy, hateful, and aggressive. But I still felt like he was just the evil oil man. Not necessarily a, an actual murderer. I mean, he murdered a couple of people. And but... he did the fake brother. That was the only one. <laughs> I think he always just seemed like he was in control of every situation until he wasn't. There was no like progression. It was just things were happening and then he would snap. Yeah, I don't know. A very interesting character for sure that obviously is elevated by an incredible performance. I mean, yeah. everyone in the movie was excellent. Paul Dano was excellent. I mean, there was some times where I was just like, this guy is pushing it. Mm -hmm. When he came and tried to tell him like, oh yeah, you're gonna call me up and introduce me and uh, give me some time to speak to everyone. Like, that's a little bit of a different demand than asking if he can bless the well. That was more of like, hey, give me an audience because I'm trying to, yep you know, get exposure for myself. Yep. That's what it felt like. And for him to have just, Daniel to just have taken that, it wasn't even like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. It's like, sure, I'll do that for you. He brings up his sister. Yeah. Calls her the- Whatever it was. Blessed one. Yeah, or the, oh, the daughter of the land or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. And he just uses everything that Eli wanted and blesses it himself. I don't know. It was that interesting aspect of him obviously hating people, but he didn't want success for anyone else. Mm -mm. And that was a very unique position for this person. I mean, I guess you have to be ruthless and cutthroat in this industry because even when he got his tip, there was other companies already buying land and other people are coming in. Like obviously everyone's just gunning for everyone. Right. So you have to be able to make incredibly tough decisions and be cutthroat and backstab people, I assume. But he just did it too effectively, I feel like. He was something else. I feel like I haven't seen a character like this in a very long time. Yeah. Just watching his life just totally implode at the end was something else. It's gonna take a while to process this movie, mm -hmm. I feel like. I um, think so. It's definitely something different than I feel like we've watched on the channel. Because it really, the story was just about Daniel and his ability to navigate through situations in life and the oil industry was just kind of the setting for all of that to happen. Yeah. I, even though it was incredibly interesting, relatively speaking, he found success. He didn't have too many hurdles and he got everything he wanted. So it's like on the business side, everything flourished and it was exactly what you would want for like some sort of happy ending. Mm -hmm. But his personal life was just an absolute mess. Yeah, it was awful. And he brought it on himself though. That's what I'm saying. Like he was so self-destructive because he could have had everything plus more. Mm -hmm. There was just so many moments in this though that were so powerful with the acting and everyone did a fantastic job, but also just visually, mm -hmm. the movie was stunning. Mm -hmm. uh, especially some of those scenes where the, uh, whatever, the tower caught on fire and just how it just covered everything in darkness and just in the glowing red, even the scene where uh, HW got injured, holding onto HW and he's running as everything's going crazy behind him. So many beautiful scenic shots when he's going with Henry to like map out the pipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that scene with HW was awful. The music in this had yes. 
a massive impact on all of the scenes. Like you knew exactly how you were supposed to be feeling because of the intensity of the music. You said at one point that that music just was constant because I just was uncomfortable and stressed and unsure of what was going to happen next. But it wasn't like it was a movie where like a detective story where you're just not sure of what's going to happen. It just was the character of Daniel was like, I don't understand this guy. Yeah, I think that moment when we're seeing that they're drilling and you see HW like on top and the music just picks up and it's like, oh my God, like what's gonna happen? Something horrible is about to happen. Then the music just cuts and it's so muffled and you know exactly what just happened. Oh yeah. Um, no, the sound and the music were excellent. Yeah. Behind Daniel Day-Lewis's performance, the music was my favorite part of this film. Yeah, I would agree. The cinematography and just the setting of everything. I mean, we're just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but it was just gorgeous. And you think the oil is just such a dirty fuel and covered everything in just black goo and stuff, but somehow they made it look so visually striking and appealing in certain times. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it was just really, really impressive. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect of this film and I still feel like I'm processing it, but this was something else. Yeah, this is definitely one where I feel like I would wanna give it some time mm -hmm. to see what else it brings out of me and then maybe watch it again. We'll be sitting and talking about it for some time. Right, yeah, a lot of times we can watch something and be very clear in our thoughts and our process, but this, I feel muddy, like, yeah. it's not clear, it's not clear. So, but I loved it. it, it kept my attention the entire time. Yeah, and it was a long film. It was a long film and I loved every second of it. It was really spectacular, but I don't know. <laughs> Need some time to let it settle. Yeah, that, for sure. I, I mean, it ended with a murder and blood and it was like, I'm finished and then credits. So it's kind of like, oh, okay, like I'm not finished yet. <laughs> But that was an amazing movie. Yeah, no, outstanding. I can absolutely see why Daniel Day-Lewis won the Oscar for this. I mean, we've only seen two performances so far, Games in New York and this. Um, I know there's other things to watch from him and I would love to watch and experience anything he does. Yes, me too. I'm a fan, he's yeah. a fan. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those things are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.